Hi, I'm Gardner Scott. Join me today as I show you how I move from tomato seeds to tomato plants by transplanting tomato seedlings. Seedlings that are in a flat or a small container will only grow as big as their roots can grow in that flat or container. When given the opportunity to spread their roots and grow, plants can really surprise you. What's really surprising is these large, wonderful lettuce plants actually came from this flat. They were sown at the exact same time. The only difference is these little plants were never given the opportunity to move into a bigger pot or into the ground. Tomatoes grow the same way. When transplanted into one size pot, they'll reach a certain height and that's about as big as they'll grow. When transplanted into a bigger pot, they'll get even larger. And when they go in the garden, in the ground, they'll reach their full potential. I've grown thousands of tomato plants from seed. These plants are about 18 inches tall. They're only seven weeks old, and they're more than ready to go outside into the garden. And it starts with a simple process of starting from seed, moving to a pot, then a bigger pot, and eventually I put them into this biggest pot to get the maximum growth in the shortest amount of time. After you've sown your tomato seeds and then they've germinated, in the right conditions, they'll be growing pretty quickly. And after a few days, they'll be ready to start transplanting. You'll want to wait until the tomato seedlings have their first true set of leaves before you transplant them out of this initial flat. The true leaves are the ones that actually look like tomato leaves. They're the second set that develops and they have lobes, which makes them different from the cotyledon leaves, which are the ones on the bottom, which are the very first leaves that develop out of the seed. I like to use a tongue depressor to remove the small seedlings from the cells in the flat. It's really quite simple. You just stick the tongue depressor in all the way to the bottom and then gently work your way out holding the plants and the root bundle with your left hand, assuming you're right-handed. And from here, you can put them into your pot. So I'll scoop up a little bit of the soil, and then you can just set this right into the pot for transplanting. Now, for this group, I'm actually going to treat it slightly differently. There are three individual plants here. Tomatoes are actually pretty tough, and at this point, if you work tenderly, gently, you can begin to separate these individual plants at the root level. You don't want to squeeze the stem. You can handle by the leaves, and so after I've loosened the soil, I'll actually pull slightly, holding at the leaves, and I've got a single tomato seedling. I can do that with these other two where I gently separate the roots. I tug just a little bit holding the leaves until I've got three individual seedlings. Each of these now, again holding it by the leaves and not the stem, can be transplanted into pots. And so I'll take some of my potting soil, 
put it into the pots, tamp down just a little bit just so that it's firm and the soil has good contact with the roots and then set it aside and continue this process with all the remaining seedlings. Continue removing the tomatoes from your flat, separating them as necessary. Scoop up your potting soil, place the plant in, and I recommend that you actually plant with the stem mostly covered. Each time you transplant, if you bury the stem, it actually benefits the plant. Tomatoes have an amazing ability to form roots all the way along the stem if the stem is buried. So I'll add potting soil just to the point where the leaves start to develop and all of those points below this soil level will develop into roots, which will really help the plant as it grows. Most of the plants in this flat have developed to the point where they all have true leaves and they're ready to transplant. But occasionally I'll come across a cell like this one where one plant is developed and ready for potting up to the next size and another one hasn't developed its true leaves yet. In this case, rather than separate these plants, I'll just go ahead and remove the entire cell, transplant it into the next pot, bury it slightly, but be aware that that smaller plant still needs to develop. If I'm lucky, that smaller plant will continue to grow. The larger one, of course, will be fine. And at the next stage where I transplant into a bigger pot, I'll be able to separate these two into the next size. And you just complete this process until all the plants in the flat have been transplanted. In a flat, I might only label one row or maybe the entire flat with just one plant tag. When you transplant into individual pots, I recommend that each individual plant have its own tag. With the plant tags done, simply stick them in the pot. After about two weeks, the tomato plants have grown to five or six inches tall. They have a lot more leaves and they're ready to transplant into a bigger pot. The process for transplanting into the next size pot is basically the same as before. I'll take some potting soil, put it into the pot, take my tomato plant, and put the plant in the pot. The difference being that at this point, I can look at the tomato plant and the cotyledon leaves, the little baby ones that are at the bottom, can actually be pinched off at this point. Just using my thumbnail, I remove the tiny seedlings. I remove the plant tag, and forming my fingers into a V, I'll put them over the plant so that I can cradle it and turn the pot upside down. Notice that nothing is falling out at this point. I'll cradle the plant, then gently squeeze the pot and it lifts out, leaving an upside down plant with a nice root ball. Next, I'll lay this root ball into the pot. 
and then begin to add more potting soil. Gently pressing it down, filling in any gaps. And what I'm looking for is for this plant to be buried up to that first set of leaves. Now I'll replace the plant tag and this transplanted tomato is ready to go back under the lights or out into the greenhouse. After another two weeks, the tomato plants are ready to transplant again. When they get to this size, you can actually harden them off and put them out into your garden. I'll be transplanting them one more time into a bigger pot. Why a bigger pot? Because we haven't hit our average last frost date here. And I need to buy myself another two, maybe three weeks before they go into the ground but they're gonna to be too big for this pot very soon. This buys me time and it gives the plant more opportunity to get bigger and grow more roots. The process for taking the plant out of this pot and putting it into this pot is exactly the same as before. I'll remove the plant tag to put it back in later. I'll want to remove these two lower branches I can just pinch them off or I can take scissors or pruning shears and cut them off. Remember that the stem will develop roots anywhere that it's buried. So I want to bury this plant up to the first branches coming off now that I've cut the other ones. We'll put just a small amount of soil into the pot, the new pot cradle the plant as before, squeeze the pot to lift it up, noticing that there's pretty good extensive root system in just two weeks, place it into the new pot, and then fill it again with potting soil. Firming down around the edges and continuing to add until I get to a point where the soil level is just below these two branches. When I transplant this again into the garden, I'll actually be removing these two lower branches and I'll bury the entire plant even more so that when it reaches its final destination in the garden, it should have a pretty expansive root system. After returning the plant tag to the pot, of course the next step is to water well so that the potting soil settles around the roots. And then we'll put these plants under the lights. After you've started transplanting the seedlings into bigger pots, you can put them out in your garden or in your greenhouse at any point in the process. It's up to you to determine how big the plants need to be before you put them in their final destination. For me, I have a relatively short growing season, so I need big, robust tomato plants before I put them outside. We've passed our last frost date, so now these 18-inch tomato plants will be going out into the garden. And there you have it, how to transplant tomato seedlings to get big tomato plants. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know below. If you haven't subscribed to the Gardener Scott channel, feel free to do so. If you like the video, you can give me a thumbs up and share. I'm Gardener Scott. Enjoy gardening.